Hey, thanks so much for buying my bill calendar. Uh, this is how to use everything. So first of all, you've got your monthly bills here, and then you've got subscriptions here, and then you've got the due date, which you will enter, um, the amount of money that you have planned to spend that month for that bill, and then each month, um, whether or not um, you know you've got fifty dollars each month for that. The total here for six hundred. That is the total for all of the monthly bills. And then the total right here in this column is to add up your monthly bills plus your subscriptions monthly. So you have a planned total of all of your bills and subscriptions for $87.96. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to type in um, bill 5, you know, whatever the bill name is, say it's your water bill. It's due on the uh, 12th of every month. And say you plan on having it be $50. Okay, so on the 12th for 50, so we're gonna go to the calendar. And then every month um, you will see that you owe water on the 12th. Um, so here, um, everything here is going to populate down for you automatically so you don't have to mess with this part. Um, and that everything that you put on the bills or subscriptions will populate onto your calendar for you. Um, you can also um, put your payday. So if you get payday, payday um, on the third payday of the month, so say you're going to get paid on the 15th, um, that will automatically populate in here for you. And then all of your bills and subscriptions will populate in the white part. Uh, you can also change your month to look at the um, bills as they come through for the month. And then you can also change it if you want to start it on a Monday, you can do it that way. Or if you can want to start on a Sunday, you can change that as well. So that is how the really nifty bill calendar works. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Thanks.